The health sector in Lagos State has received a significant boost with the introduction of the Smart Health Information Platform, SHIP for short. This innovative platform will transform data transmission and management across all state-owned healthcare facilities. Shortly after signing the Memorandum of Understanding between the Office of Public-Private Partnership, PPP, and Digital Health Platform Limited, Governor Songwalu described the initiative as a transformational step in simplifying data collection and usage in the health sector. The governor stated that the state government made a bold move by leveraging technology to enable efficient healthcare delivery. He noted that this innovation will facilitate proper resource allocation and empower decision makers to analyze and evaluate the impact of interventions in the sector. Commissioner for Health, Professor Akin Abayomi, stated that the state-owned general hospitals alone had generated 7 million contact data points, in addition to data collected by primary healthcare centers, tertiary health institutions, and private hospitals. Managing this vast data, the commissioner explained, required a robust digital infrastructure to eliminate reputation and errors in data collection. Group Managing Director of InterSwitch, Michel Elegwe, said the SHIP solution would not only enable the free flow of data between health institutions, but also provide seamless payment options for patients. This is another bright day for us in Lagos. It's the beginning of not only a transformational um, step in our access to health um, information, but it's also a bold statement that the Lagos State is making on how to use technology as a strong enabler of not only access to health, but being able to enrich, you know, document um, um, information and be able to use information as in itself, you know, a strong enabler and a strong tool where both the patient, but the government can analyze and see, you know, um, what are the benefits of such interventions. Globally, um, we're seeing a new trend around using you know, um, um, information technology as a backbone, as a platform to also access changes in lifestyle, not only in the banking, not only for payments, um, um, ease of payment alone, but we're also using it in public transportation, in health, in education. And so these are everyday life that, that technology, you know, has come to make, you know, um, a definite play. State's effort to design a process in anticipation of a plethora of digital solutions in the health sector. What we're doing with the ship is creating an opportunity for us to move medical information seamlessly from institute to institute to find a place as a repository for this huge amount of data on a yearly basis, we see 7, 7 million patient contacts in our general hospitals alone, not counting our PHCs. And you can imagine how many patient contacts happen in the private sector. So accumulation of this kind of information is what's called big data. And what we're trying to do now in anticipation of a tsunami of digital solutions such as machine learning, artificial intelligence, deep learning, robotics, and even quantum physics is to prepare the platform for the repository of this kind of information. What we have done in payments is settled around banking. With all of these efforts, in about 20 years, payment penetration is just 20%. The balance will have to come from a lot of areas controlled by government healthcare, transportation, and so on and so forth. And so we saw this opportunity many years ago when we interacted with the ECLAT team that led us to led us making an investment in ECLAT. And we've been working together for many years. So when the Lagos State Government came up with this idea of SHIP, we saw immediately an opportunity to take part in the process. And I was very happy that at the end of it all, we have found um, worthy enough to be given this opportunity. It is a lot of work to be done, no doubt about it. For me especially, it is like rebuilding the industry from scratch. 
It's like building it a switch for the healthcare sector. We've done it before. There are a lot of stakeholders involved. There will be a lot of stakeholder management involved. To us, the hospitals, the clinics are just like the banks. They have their customers, they keep their data. And like the Holy Commissioner said, we're just creating a pipeline, a backbone to allow the data to move freely in such a manner that citizens can get the kind of service that they expect to have.